Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Brian Live. So today I'm doing something a little different and I am showing you all my traveling hairstylist travel case. So I got this case from Shanae and it's S-H-A-N-Y. It's a company that sells different cases like this and this case could double for a makeup artist or also for a hairstylist and in this case I am a licensed cosmetologist so I take this with me everywhere to my clients that I travel to and I have all my stuff in here so a traveling hairstylist is basically someone who goes to their clients so this would be ideal for people who don't have a car who don't like to go to salons and they want to be in the comfort of their own home and I love doing that guys because it's very intimate and you know my clients really get to do what they want and if they are you know washing clothes or you know want to stay home to watch their favorite show or something I'm able to come there when they get off work or just whenever on the weekends when they're relaxing and do their hair for them and make them feel beautiful so I definitely love traveling to my clients and I wanted to show you guys my case so guys this case has three like compartments so it's this top compartment it's this middle and it's the bottom so I'm gonna start with the top and there, there's the name right there, S-H-A-N-Y. And here it opens like this. It's a mirror right here. But I'm going to take the mirror off. You can take the mirror out. Um, and this is such a cute mirror, guys. And it has this thing on the back to where you can like sit it up here for your clients. Or sit it like this so that they can see their hair. I'm just going to turn that around so right here guys they have these things that come out on either side and these have holes in them which I'm going to show you guys an up close view of it but it has these holes in it so you can put your flat irons in there you can put your blow dryers in there anything that you need to sit into these little holes these holes here you can and on that side the bigger holes on on that side so in this top part guys, I keep my styling products that I need to just grab really quickly. So it's here I have some edge control, Murray's Edge Wax Extreme Hole. I have also some beeswax. I have my shears. I have some wrap papers. And um, just like I have my needle and my thread in here. In this top part I have combs. And like I said, the things in this top part, guys, is stuff that I need to access like right away, like as soon as I'm doing my client's hair. And I have it up here because this is like the easiest part. It's the top, so you just flip it up and everything's here. And it's on wheels, so it's really cool that I can carry all my stuff around and I don't have to like actually pick it up. So going into this second part here, guys, as I said, this case can double as like a makeup artist case or whatever. So I have these um, things that you can put like brushes in or even if you want to use it just for strictly hair, then you can put, you know, combs and stuff in here as well. But I was thinking about since um, I do frontals, I was thinking about going to the hair store and getting some brushes, um, different brushes for my clients, different skin tones so that I can, you know, kind of customize their frontals without them having to use their own personal makeup. And I'll have that for them in my case. So here is this part. So sometimes this part gets stuck this top part here guys just has like these little shelves things I would call it and I keep some business cards my business cards um, in my shelves and I have others business cards in my shelf I call this my little advertisement station because I have like other businesses I have um, uh, someone I know who is a licensed esthetician and she does lashes and I also have a boutique that sells you know um, 
perfumes and oils and things like that so I keep these cards here so if my clients see them or if they ask me do you know anybody that does lashes or that you know does different little things I can just say yeah sure you could take a card from here and you know I like helping other people and promoting their businesses so just some other things I keep in here a little whatnots that I can grab is my lighter um, I keep my clips my clips I keep some rubber bands some scrunchies and I also keep the band um, for that I use to, for my wig units I keep bands in this part as well and then I also have my um, I have my lash um, brush thing that you can get from like the store the spoolie I guess it's called um, I have this for my frontals like when I'm laying baby hairs on frontals or closures these are super um, helpful when you're laying those so I make sure I keep one in here so guys these shelves go out like this and that just adds even more space. I told you guys what I have on these top shelves. So on the second shelf, I have my measuring tape for uh, my my clients that want wigs and things. So I measure their head with these or if they want a frontal. And I also have my um, brushes. So I use these brushes to like color hair, do relaxers, um, protein treatments, everything like that. But I have different brushes so it just hooks onto the um, bottom part of the, the brush. But it's not my kit right now because I'm using it currently. So um, yeah, this is very convenient and it saves room because you just have a lot of these heads. I have this one. I have different plastic ones that you've probably seen in some of my videos. So these really help a lot with saving room. So um, they fit like in these little compartments like this. On this side, I have all of my clips that I use to help hold the hair. And then in this bottom part here, I have my flat irons and I have my hot comb. So I have two flat irons in here, guys. I have my Babyless flat iron. And I love this flat iron um, for the sole purpose of flat ironing straight. And, and that's because it has like, it's square, so the sides are not round and it's not really easy to get a flawless curl. And that's why I also have my Duval flat irons in here as well. And my Duval, my Duval flat irons have round edges. So when you're curling with the flat iron, those flat irons are perfect for curling your hair. So being a traveling hairstylist, guys, you want to make sure that you have everything you can possibly think of that you may need. You need um, different types of flat irons, a mini flat iron, a big flat iron, one for straightening, one for curling. So you need a lot of different variety of tools and making sure that you have all the products and stuff that you need. So going down to the next department. So guys, this bottom part here is where I keep all of my products. So I have um, some glossing polish. I love using this for stuff like flat ironing and um, just when you don't want your hair to be weighed down but you do want it to look healthy and shiny, I use this. And then you have, I have my Gorilla Snot, I have some uh, glue, I have uh, spritz got to be glued uh, free spray I have some heat protectant I have my black spray I have clippers I have um, my blow dryer here and then I have these two little so these bags guys they came with um, the set and the bags are just like these little see-through bags like this and it was three of them that came and it's like the bigger one and this one and then a smaller one so I love these because I just kind of keep my miscellaneous things in that I can't fit up top. So I have like my glove when I'm doing my wand curls so I won't burn my hand. I have my cape that I put on my clients. Then I have my extra braiding hair for my clients who hair is short and I'm doing like a sew-in or something. And then in this bag I just have like my smaller wand curlers and I have um, some more wand curlers. I have my big barrel curling iron. So 
this bottom part was really handy to fit all of my products and stuff and it stands up in here even when I like lay it down and that's just because of the way that I have it positioned in here so if you can I like these bags as well because you can kind of bend them to fit because this ceiling is like taller than this the the top of this is taller than this part so as long as you're able to squeeze it flexibly in there you'll be good so I'm able to definitely fit all my stuff in here guys and it has a lot more room to go so when I'm finished with this I just make sure that this doorway is ready and I just close it like this the wheels on this are like um the very great suitcase wheels guys they just like roll like this i'm gonna turn it around to show you guys it has this bag has a handle here that you just push on and you push it up like that so that you can like carry it like a suitcase as well as you guys can see this suitcase literally just rolls and I have all my products in it so keep that in mind it rolls so easily and it also has locks on the wheels so it has locks on these front wheels that you can just bring to the front and you just push them down like that to lock the wheel so when you're actually using the suitcase and you're doing hair it stays in place and it doesn't move um, the only bad thing about this case guys is that I have a lot of stuff in here and it's very heavy so it has broken here um, on the bottom I don't know if you guys can see that but my case has kind of broken here at the bottom um, it's went in a little bit um, I can still roll it as you guys can see and everything still is in there but I hate that my case broke and I've had it for probably about four months or so so it hasn't been long and it's already breaking but the good thing about it is it does have a warranty I'm not sure if they're gonna be able to fix this or not hopefully they can um, but I do have to pay to ship this back to them which I will and I'll probably give you all an update once I've gotten it fixed or whatever so I hope you all enjoyed this video leave any questions down below if you have any if you like this video give it a big huge thumbs up and leave me a comment down below I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you all in my next one and guys also let me know if you like this video and if you want to see more videos about me being a hair uh, hairstylist or a traveling hairstylist or any type of questions about hair school or anything like that just leave those questions down below so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next one